Hello everyone, I'm Principal Evangelist Paul Tranny here at Adobe and I want to show you what's new in Camera Raw for editing photos. So we're talking sky replacement, select subject, new ways to mask that makes it much easier, including some premium presets. So let's check it out now. So here I am in Photoshop. Notice that this layer is a smart object. From there, go to filter, right up to camera raw filter. All right, because that's what I want to do. I want to edit this really fast. Uh, some of these tools uh, you should be using, honestly. I use a lot of these content aware tools uh, to say heal, for instance. Just so you know, real fast, we'll jump in and do this and kind of clean this up, right? We can click and drag, or we can just kind of click, as you can see. And the great thing is, is obviously it's sampling these other areas. Now this is not new, but I do want to show you that, yeah, you should be using this. Uh, by the way, you can actually change the size of the brush, actually the feathering, even after the fact, just move it. It actually changes the feathering uh, even after you've, uh, you're have you done stamping or basically healing as I'm doing right now. So I'm just cleaning this up a little, as you can tell. Again, we can always move and sample from different areas and just getting rid of things that'd be gone maybe in a couple weeks, right? So we've done that, but this is what I wanna get into. And again, hit P, you could see the before and then the after, right? Click on another tool, again, before, after, right? We kind of clean that up, but we have a lot of red on his face because he's obviously outside, so we need to clean this up. And for that, I'm going to use the new masking tools right over here. You can see all of them. Just do a long press on the mask button. In this case, I'm going to do a brush, right? So I'm going to jump in here, uh, decrease using the uh, bracket keys, right? And right over here, we just kind of start to uh, paint. It's not painting with red, all I'm doing is selecting an area. So I'm not worried too much about um, the color at all, because that's just the overlay color. So I want to just get rid of this red, make it look like he's not outside, right, in the cold, right, and that's all I'm doing. I can even do a little bit around the ears. Notice off to the side, I can always adjust the size, as you can use, see using the bracket keys, but also the flow, right? So the flow sort of builds up as well. So I can change the, take the flow down, wrap that around his ears and make his ears look maybe a little less red. So that's all I'm doing. As you can see, we could turn off that overlay, right? And we can see sort of what's selected. And oftentimes I'll turn off that overlay and uh, come down here. And by the way, I'm thinking, oh geez, actually, let me change, let me show you what this looks like. So we'll change, say, the saturation. You can see, oh yeah, I do want to knock down the red a little bit, but we need to bring up the exposure a little bit as well. So all I'm doing is get ridding, getting rid of that red. But I realized I missed some, right? So this is where this becomes important, because this is all brand new as well. So I can add to it using a brush again, so we're adding to that mask, and I'm just kind of grabbing some of these other sort of red areas that I've kind of missed right down there and again if I take the saturation all the way down you could see these additional areas that I'm getting right the bridge of the nose I can grab a little bit more of that and again it's based on that flow I'm just kind of selecting some of these different areas some of these spots that I've kind of missed and you can see I've added brush number two uh, it works out great and again you can see the saturation I took that way down right just so we could see it but we just need to knock that down a little bit but the saturation the exposure all these settings are actually controlled uh, and I can add to it as you can see right over here right uh, so that looks good let's kind of zoom out we can do some overall adjustments a lot of times I'll jump in and say maybe take down the texture a little bit and then bring up the uh, sharpening in in detail right so again that looks much better we'll hold this down here's our before and here's our after right? Boom, boom. We can do this all day long. This is so much fun, by the way. Going in here, you could do a long press and you could decide to say, you know what, let's just go ahead and select the subject as well. Clicking right there, it's going to go through, select the subject as you can see. And guess what? I actually want to invert it, right? Because I just really want to select the background. We'll turn off show overlay and then we'll just like take down, say, the exposure. Because we want to highlight uh, this young man is all I'm doing right there. So taking that down a little bit, taking down the saturation, whatever we want to do, uh, as we could do there. So you can add as many masks as you want. 
uh, you, oh, looks like I added another uh, select subject, but if I hold this down, I can jump in and I can say, hey, you know, color range, grab from the color range. So again, this is a new mask. I'm gonna click and drag and I'm gonna grab this yellow because I wanna get rid of it. You can see it grabbed lots of yellow because yeah, there's a lot going on in here, right? So we could adjust that sample color. So we could take that down. You ready for this? Right over here, for color range, we actually wanna subtract using the brush. So now we can subtract from that mask. Again, just painting, maybe I'll crank up the flow some more, right? And just removing, cause yeah, I'm like, don't take away color from his face. We just wanna remove wherever else there is yellow outside of his face, mainly, just so you know, uh, this distracting bar right here, right? So again, it selected it for me. I could turn that off, but more importantly, we'll scroll down just so we don't see the overlay and uh, take down this saturation all the way down if I want to. And I can still grab more of that color, which is why I love this. You can always grab more of that color range, just go in and select it, and we're grabbing more of it just by uh, bringing up that refinement slider as well. So that's all I'm doing, just taking some of that color out. That looks good. We have select subject in there as well. Last thing I wanna cover is right over here, and these lovely premium presets right over here. So again, portraits, medium skin, a ton of food, landscape, lifestyle, like ah, play with these, have some fun with them. Um, I've already kind of favoriting, favorited some, but I'm just kind of rolling over them and you can see kind of what it's doing and how it's changing the colors, right? So uh, I think this L is for light skin, uh, but I like this one a lot. In fact, I'll just select that, call it a day, click okay, right? Go ahead and apply that. And now we have sort of our before and then our after, right? Again, just doing all that cleanup. Last thing I'd probably do is probably crop it. So it's kind of like that. Uh, that's a that's a trick photographers do is just, you know what? If it's not working, just crop it out. That's what I do with some of this flyaway hair. So again, works pretty well. That is Adobe Camera Raw in Photoshop. Guess what? It's also in Lightroom and we have Adobe Camera Raw support in Photoshop on the iPad as well. So check that out. Make sure you subscribe uh, below. Also follow me on social media for the latest and greatest. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.